Hi and welcome back to your new lesson. In previous lessons, we have been learning about the MATLAB basics, array, array indexing, text, and the string. In this lesson, we are going to learn about inbuilt functions of a MATLAB. So MATLAB provides large number of functions that perform computational tasks, and functions are equivalent to subroutines or methods in other programming languages such as C and the Java. So to call a function such as max, include it in its input argument in the parenthesis. That means if you want to write here max e is equal to type here max and then a. So it will get a max max of uh, a from each column. So if you print a here, so you can see here maximum of first column is 7 and second column is 8 and third column is 9 so it will print the maximum of all column so in the similar way if you can print here the max t max t is equal to the max of t then it will print maximum of all the column so in the first column if you see the maximum is 24 in the second column maximum is 23 and in the fourth, third column maximum is 22 and in the fourth column maximum is 21 and the last column its maximum is 25 so it will get the maximum of all the column all individual columns and it will print that maximum here in the similar way we can print a minimum so the, let's type here mean t mean t is equal to mean and then t okay so it will get the minimum it will get the minimum of each column and in the similar way we can get a average okay so type here a v g t is equal to a v g and now it will get the average of the t of each column so if 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 you see here undefined functions are variable a v g so what you can do you can help it okay so avg and once you type here help avg it will show that there is no average variables so that means there is no average variable uh, there is no average commands are available in fact it is a it is mean so it's not average it's mean so mean t is equal to mean and then you can write here the t so once you type here mean t you will see here the mean of this column is 13 mean of this every column is 13 right and in the similar way if you write here mean of t transpose then you can get here the mean of every column is only 13 that means the mean of these columns are 13 okay so mean of these columns and the mean of these rows are always 13 and in the similar way you can get a sum of these uh, okay sum of these uh, the, these columns so the sum sum t is equal to sum and then type here t so it will print sum of these rows okay sum of these columns that is 65 in a similar way you can also write here sum of t transpose so you will see here it's 65 that's mean this t array this t matrix the sum of each row is 65 and the sum of each column is 65 right and uh, suppose that if you want to get if you want to get the index of the maximum or the minimum or any statistics operation you even you can get those of those indexing so let's say if you type here max a and the column location so it will say the index of the maximum so the max a sorry it's it's it's, it's actually uh, it's a small a so you will see here now it will print the maximum and the location of these uh, array values so the maximum first maximum is 7 that is in first column and uh, 
that a if you print here a so it's a three okay it's the third row and in the similar way this is third row and in the similar way this last one is also third row so this is the third row first column third row first column th third row first column so in a similar way if you print here max of t then you will see here in the first row in the, sorry in the second row first column is maximum second row first column is maximum that is 24 and here this is this is a second column and the first row and here this is fifth row this is a fifth row and uh, this third column and here this is fourth row and fourth column that is 21 and this is third row and fifth column it's a 25 right so perhaps this is all about the functions there are so many functions such as there is this function if you want to display any just a string and you do not want to store it then you can just type this so it will print here the display there are so many even there is standard deviations and you know so many suppose that if you take help help of mean it will print you know related to mean okay related to mean and then you have these functions such as median standard deviation mean max variations covariance mode so many so many okay now suppose that if you want to clear this window once again you can type here clc so it will clear this command window so this is all about um, matlab in built functions and please do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye have a nice day